The King James Bible, the Book of Ruth, Chapter 1. Now it came to pass in the days when the judges ruled that there was a famine in the land, and a certain man of Bethlehem Judah went to sojourn in the country of Moab, he and his wife and his two sons. And the name of the man was Elimelech, and the name of his wife was Naomi, and the name of his two sons was Malon and Chilion, Ephrathites of Bethlehem Judah, and they came into the country of Moab and continued there. And Elimelech, Naomi's husband, died, and she was left and her two sons. And they took him them wives of women of Moab. The name of one was Orpah, and the name of the other Ruth. And they dwelled there about ten years. And Malon and Chilion died also both of them. And the woman was left of her two sons and her husband. Then she arose with her daughters-in-law that she might return into the from the country of Moab, for she had heard in the country of Moab how the Lord had visited his people in giving them bread. Wherefore she went forth out of the place where she was, and her two daughters-in-law with her, and they went on their way to return unto the land of Judah. And Naomi said unto her two daughters-in-law, Go return each to her mother's house. The Lord deal kindly with you, as ye have dealt with the dead and with me. The Lord grant you that ye may find rest, each of you, in the house of her husband. Then she kissed them, and they lifted up their voice and wept. And they said unto her, Surely we will return with thee unto thy people. And Naomi said, Turn again, my daughters, why will ye go with me? Are there yet any more sons in my womb, that, ye, that they may be your husbands? Turn again, my daughters, go your way, for I am too old to have a husband. If, if I should say I have hope, if I should say I have a husband also tonight, and should also bear sons. Would ye tarry for them till they were grown? Would ye stay with them from having husbands? My daughters, for it grieveth me much for your sakes that the hand of the Lord has gone out against me. And they lifted up their voice and wept again. And Orpah kissed her mother-in-law, but Ruth clave unto her. And she said, Behold, thy sister-in-law has gone back unto her people and unto her gods. Return thou after thy sister-in-law. And Ruth said, Entreat me not to have to, not to leave thee or to return from following after thee for whither thou goest i will go and where thou lodgest i will lodge thy people shall be my people and thy god my god where thou di diest that will i die and there will i be buried the lord do so to me and all more also if aught but death part thee and me when she saw that she was steadfastly minded to go with her then she left speaking unto her so they so they too went until they came to Bethlehem. And it came to pass, when they were come to Bethlehem, that all the city was moved about them, and they said, Is this Naomi? And she said unto them, Call me not Naomi, call me Mara, for the Almighty hath dealt very bitterly with me. I went out full, and the Lord hath brought me home again empty. Why then call ye me Naomi, seeing the Lord hath testified against me, and the Almighty hath afflicted me? So Naomi returned, and Ruth the Moabitess to her daughters-in-law, her daughter-in-law, with her, which returned out of the country of Moab, and they came to Bethlehem in the beginning of barley harvest. Chapter two, and Naomi had a kinsman of her husband's, a mighty man of wealth, of the family of Elimelech, and his name was Boaz. And Ruth the Moabitess said unto Naomi, Let me now go to the field and glean ears of corn after him in whose sight. I shall find grace. And she said unto her, Go, my daughter. And she went and came and gleaned in the field after the reapers. And her hap was to light on part of the field belonging unto Boaz, who was of the kindred of Elimelech. And behold, Boaz came from Bethlehem and said unto the reapers, The Lord be with you. And they answered him, The Lord bless thee. Then said Boaz unto the servant that was set over the reapers, Whose damsel is this? And the servant was and the servant that was set over the reapers answered and said, It is the Moabitish damsel that came back with Naomi out of the country of Moab. And she said, I pray you, let me glean and gather after the reapers among the sheaves. So she came and hath continued even from the morning until now, that she tarried a little in the house. Then said Boaz unto Ruth, Hearest thou not my daughter? Go not to glean the other field, neither go from hence, but abide here fast by my maidens. Let thine eyes be on the field that they do reap, and go thou after them. Have I not charged the young men that they shall not touch thee? 
and when thou art athirst, go unto the vessels, and drink of that which the young men have drawn. Then she fell on her face, and bowed herself to the ground, and said unto him, Why have I found grace in, the, uh, in thine eyes, that thou shouldest take, it, take knowledge of me, being I am a stranger? And Boaz answered and said unto her, It hath fully been shewed, shewed me that all that thou hast done unto thy mother-in-law since the death of thine husband, and how thou hast left thy father and thy mother, and the land of thy nativity, and art come unto the people which thou knewest not heretofore. The Lord recompense thy work, and the full reward be given thee of the Lord God of Israel, under whose wings thou art come to trust. Then she said, Let me find favor in thy sight, my Lord, that thou hast comforted me, and that thou hast spoken friendly unto thy handmaid, though I be not like unto one of thine handmaids. And Boaz said unto her, at mealtime, come thou hither, and eat of the bread, and dip thy morsel in the vinegar. And she sat beside the reapers. He reached her parched corn, and she did eat, and was sufficed, and left. And when she was risen up to glean, Boaz commanded the young men, saying, Let her, let her glean even among the sheaves, and reproach her not, and let fall some and let fall also some handfuls of purpose for her, and leave them, that she may glean them, and rebuke her not. So she gleaned in the field until even, and beat out that she had gleaned, and it was about a neat path of barley. And she took it up and went into the city, and her mother-in-law saw that she had gleaned, and she had fought, brought forth, and gave her to her that she had reserved after she was sufficed. And her mother-in-law said unto her, Where hast thou gleaned today, and where wrongest thou, wroughtest thou? Blessed be that he did take knowledge of thee, and she shewed her mother-in-law with whom she had wrought, and said, The man's name with whom I am wrought today is Boaz. And Naomi said unto her daughter-in-law, Blessed be the Lord who hath not left off his kindness to the living and to the dead. And Naomi said unto her, The man is near of kin unto us, one of our next kinsmen. And Ruth the Moabite is said, He said unto me also that thou shalt keep fast my young men until they have ended all my harvest. And Naomi said unto Ruth, her daughter-in-law, It is good, my daughter, that thou go out with the maidens, that thou meet thee not in the other field. So she kept fast by the maidens of Boaz to glean unto the end of the barley harvest, and the harvest, the end of wheat harvest, and dwelt with her mother-in-law. 